A love blooming in Willowbrook. In the quiet town of Willowbrook, two young souls named Max and Lily found their lives intertwined in the most unexpected way. Max, a curious boy with a heart full of wonder, and Lily, a kind-hearted girl who saw the world through colors, were destined to create a unique love story. Max and Lily attended the same school, but they were like two separate streams flowing side by side. Max was known for his love of books and his fascination with the mysteries of science. Lily, on the other hand, was the girl who turned canvases into vibrant realms, breathing life into her paintings. One sunny day, a school picnic brought them closer. By chance, they found themselves sitting next to each other on the bus. Max, driven by a surge of courage, decided to break the silence. Hi, I'm Max, he greeted with a friendly smile. Lily returned the smile, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you, Max. As they conversed, Max discovered Lily's passion for art mirrored his enthusiasm for learning. They shared stories about their favorite books and Lily's process of turning emotions into brush strokes. It was as if their interests had been secretly connected all along. At the picnic, Max and Lily explored the park together, building sandcastles and chasing butterflies. Their laughter echoed through the air as they discovered the simple joys of the outdoors. Max even shared his knowledge of constellations with Lily, pointing out stars that danced like fireflies in the evening sky. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the horizon, Max and Lily settled on a blanket, gazing at the stars. Look, Max, Lily whispered, the stars are like little dreams shining above. Max nodded, just like your paintings. They capture dreams and bring them to life. Their connection deepened as time went on. Their afternoons were filled with adventures in the woods where they found secret hideaways and shared secrets. Max's love for the wonders of the universe merged seamlessly with Lily's ability to see beauty in every corner. As the years rolled by, their friendship turned into a bond that could withstand anything. They supported each other's aspirations and faced challenges with unwavering support. When Max felt nervous about a test, Lily would create a colorful, lucky charm. In return, Max's reassuring words became the fuel for Lily's artistry. One evening, against the backdrop of a setting sun, Max confessed his feelings to Lily. Lily, he said, his voice shaking slightly, you mean the world to me. You've always been the light in my life. Lily's eyes shimmered with emotion, Max, you're my anchor, my rock. I love you too. Their journey continued as they navigated different paths in life. Max delved deeper into science while Lily's paintings began to draw people into her magical world. Despite the distances that college brought, their bond grew even stronger. Returning to Willowbrook, after years of chasing dreams, Max planned a surprise for Lily at their favorite park. In the same spot where their friendship began, 
he knelt down and presented a sparkling ring. Lily, will you marry me? Max's eyes were a mix of hope and excitement. Tears of happiness streamed down Lily's cheeks as she nodded, yes, a million times yes. Their love story came full circle, an enduring journey from curious beginnings to a love that had blossomed over time. Their wedding was a celebration of their shared adventures, surrounded by loved ones and the same stars that had witnessed their connection. Max held Lily's hand, looking up at the stars that had united them. Lily, you're the love that's made my life extraordinary. Lily smiled, and you, Max, are my greatest adventure. Their love story continued, an eternal tale as timeless as the stars above. Through simple conversations, shared passions, and unyielding support, they proved that love can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, just like the way Lily turned blank canvases into vibrant paintings. And as they looked at the stars, Max whispered to Lily, you'll always be the love of my life. Lily's eyes twinkled as she whispered back, and you, Max, will forever be my muse. With hearts full of love, they gazed at the stars, knowing that their journey was just beginning, and their love would continue to shine brightly in the sky of their lives. Whispers of the Meadow In a land where dreams and nature intertwined, there lay a meadow as enchanting as a fairy tale. This meadow wasn't like any other, it was known far and wide as the Meadow of Whispers. Its gentle winds carried secrets and stories waiting to be discovered by those who dared to listen. One sunny morning, Lily, a curious young girl, with a heart full of wonder, set out on an adventure. She had heard of the whispers that the meadow held and was determined to uncover their mysteries. With a small notebook in hand, she followed a narrow path that led deep into the heart of the meadow. As Lily walked, the grass beneath her feet felt like a soft carpet, and the wildflowers danced in harmony with the breeze. Birds serenaded her with sweet melodies, and butterflies painted the air with vibrant hues. It was a world of magic and beauty unlike anything she had ever seen. Lily found a cozy spot under a majestic oak tree where a blanket of soft petals had gathered. She opened her notebook and waited, hoping to hear the whispers that everyone spoke of. Minutes turned into hours, and just as the sun began to dip below the horizon, she heard it, a faint, melodic whisper that seemed to come from the rustling leaves. Welcome, young traveler, the whisper said. We are the voices of the meadow, the keepers of its stories. Lily's eyes widened in amazement. Who are you? We are the spirits of nature, the whispers replied. Every flower, every tree, and every creature has a story to tell. Eagerly, Lily asked, Can you share some of these stories with me? And so, the meadow began to share its tales. It told Lily of the mischievous squirrel who played pranks on his fellow animals, of the wise old owl who offered guidance, and of the shy rabbit 
who overcame his fears to make new friends. Each story was a lesson wrapped in the beauty of nature. As the nights turned into days, Lily returned to the meadow to hear more stories. She learned about the season's dance, the symphony of raindrops, and the laughter of fireflies. The meadow's whispers became her companions, filling her heart with wisdom and joy. One day, while listening to a tale of a brave young deer who faced a daunting journey, Lily had an idea. She wanted to share these stories with others so they could experience the magic of the meadow too. With the meadow's blessing, Lily gathered the stories in her notebook and began to read them aloud to her friends and family. As the words flowed from her lips, the stories seemed to come alive, transporting listeners to the heart of the meadow itself. Word spread, and soon, people from all around came to hear Lily's storytelling. The meadow became a place of gathering where the whispers could touch the hearts of many. And as the stories were shared, the meadow flourished, its magic spreading far and wide. Years passed, and Lily grew into a wise storyteller, passing down the tales of the meadow to younger generations. The meadow's whispers continued to enchant, reminding everyone that nature's beauty held lessons that could guide their lives. And so, the meadow of whispers remained a place of wonder and magic where the stories of the land were shared and treasured. The wind still carried the echoes of its tales, inviting all who would listen to be a part of its enchanting world. In the end, it wasn't just Lily who heard the whispers, it was the world that learned to listen and embrace the lessons woven within the stories of the meadow. The Secret Map of Wonderwood In a village nestled at the edge of a lush forest, there lived a young girl named Mia. Mia was known for her insatiable curiosity and her love for adventure. She had heard whispers about a place called Wonderwood, a magical forest rumored to hold secrets beyond imagination. One day, while exploring the attic of her old, creaky house, Mia stumbled upon a dusty, ancient-looking map. Its edges were worn, and the parchment had turned a delicate shade of yellow. Excitement bubbled within her as she saw the words Wonderwood inscribed at the top. With the map clutched in her hands, Mia embarked on a journey that would change her life forever. She ventured into the heart of the forest, guided by the mysterious paths marked on the map. As she walked, the trees seemed to whisper their greetings, and the leaves rustled in anticipation. The first stop on the map led Mia to a tranquil glade where fireflies danced in the sunlight. She found a tiny, talking squirrel named Squeaky, who explained that the glade was a haven for creatures of all sizes. Mia shared stories of her village, and in return, Squeaky told her tales of bravery and unity among the forest creatures. Following the map's trail, Mia encountered a sparkling stream that led to a hidden waterfall. There, she met a wise old turtle named Terence, who spoke of the importance of patience and resilience. Terence's stories of overcoming 
challenges inspired Mia to persevere in her quest. As the days turned to weeks, Mia discovered enchanted clearings filled with blooming flowers that glowed in the moonlight. In one of these clearings, she met Luna, a playful fox with a mischievous grin. Luna's stories were filled with laughter and the magic of the forest at night. Mia's journey finally led her to the heart of Wonderwood, where a majestic, ancient oak tree stood tall. Its roots seemed to reach deep into the earth, connecting the forests past to its present. High up in the branches, a wise owl named Orla perched, her eyes gleaming with ancient knowledge. Welcome, young traveler, Orla hooted. You have followed the map and discovered the wisdom of Wonderwood. Mia's heart swelled with excitement and pride. Orla, I've learned so much from this journey. The creatures and their stories have taught me valuable lessons. Orla nodded, her feathers rustling in agreement. The map was more than just a guide to Wonderwood. It was a map to self-discovery and the wisdom that nature holds. With Orla's guidance, Mia learned to listen to the whispers of the wind, the laughter of the streams, and the rustling of leaves. She realized that Wonderwood's magic was in its ability to connect all living things and share their stories. With newfound knowledge and a heart brimming with gratitude, Mia bid farewell to Orla and the ancient oak. She retraced her steps through the forest, cherishing every moment and memory. As she emerged from the woods, the sun cast a warm, golden glow, welcoming her back to her village. Mia returned home with the map in hand, eager to share the stories and wisdom she had gained from Wonderwood. She recounted her encounters with Squeaky, Terence, Luna, and Orla to her friends and family, inspiring them to explore the magic of nature around them. And so, the secret map of Wonderwood became a cherished tale in the village, passed down from one generation to the next. Through Mia's journey, the village learned that the greatest adventures were the ones that led to self-discovery, unity, and a deeper connection with the world around them.